Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number eight of Mana and Artifice. And I have located a certain structure around here. I marked it with the Ritual of Homestead. That's what I did. And I now have an end portal here. And I happened to bring some blaze powder and some ender pearl. So. Hopefully, I do not run out of... Mana in this boss fight. I'm gonna be using my Sith powers, and... Here we go, boys! It's the end, question mark? Okay, so, I'm thinking how I will deal with this is I will take advantage of the fact that this is an area attack and just like... Yeah, do that. Just like 12 times. Oh goodness. Oh dang it, I forgot a water bottle! Dragon's Breath. Okay. Now that I've taken care of part one, I can now fly up and deal with these things. Yo, no, thank you. Okay. Okay, I missed that one. And that one. That might be it. Okay, I'm gonna try to take a look around once more. Oh, dang it. <gasps> no! Back in action, boys. So, there are still two crystals, one of them over there, one of them over there. One of them up here. Okay, then I'm gonna put some items on. Okay. So, let's see if we can cheese this one as well. Yeah. Wait. Aha. You see what I have to deal with in this game. Okay, Dragon Boy. Okay, I'll just uh take care of him from the distance a little bit. I don't like that look. I don't like that look. I do not like that look over there. That dragon was like staring me in the eye, trying to murder me. Oh goodness, do you guys see all those raids? Okay. I don't understand why are these mobs in the end of all places. Okay. Okay then. Now I just gotta continue doing this till the dragon dies. No, dang it! Wait, 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 can I still can I still make it through that one portal? Yes! I forgot that I had my spellbook in the offhand instead of the main hand. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh goodness, no. Three wraiths. Oh dang it. Oh dang it. Oh dang it. Oh dang it. Okay. Okay. Run, 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 run. Okay. 
Stop. Okay. Die. Please. Oh. Goodness, no! I'm out of mana. I am out of mana. I have to kill something in order to get back up and running. Okay, so I should probably kill an Enderman. Okay. Just gonna go in. Dang it. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Goodness. I just need a little bit of mana, but yes. Okay. I'm gonna head back now. <sighs> Whoa, that was okay. Oh dang it! I should have collected all those souls. Not souls, but. Okay, that's it for this clip. I'm gonna peace out for now. Okay, guys, so between those two clips, I... Sorry, not two clips. Between, after that clip... Oh, damn. No. Uh, he also is over here. I have advanced to tier number five by performing the Ritual of Cold to Dark once more. And now, I have advanced all the way up to tier five. Between clips, I have captured a lot of Elder and Wellsprings, particularly of Ender and water, which makes it so that I can craft my Witherbone Armor, which is a tier 5 thing for the Undead Faction specifically. It says that it has the protection level of Netherite, but it also has a set bonus that you gain a you the Mist Form spell, which is uh, this one here. It makes it so you can, like, fly around, but you can't impact the world around you. Like, I'm, I'm right-clicking. I'm trying to break it, but nothing's happening because I'm in the mist form. So, you get that whenever you would normally die. And you gain souls by causing damage to people instead of just killing them. So, you can punch somebody and regain souls as well as when you kill them. So... One thing that you have to do is craft Wither Bones, which is the recipe I had up. Wither Bone. It's Bone Ash, Bone, and Phantom Membrane, which is the hard part, and then Gem Dust, and then you craft it. And, I have obtained the- oh, there's a slime. No. I'm just gonna uh, take care of these guys. Okay, so. I have crafted up everything needed to get the various pieces of the Wither Bone Armor. Now I'm going to show it off. So, in order to craft the boots, you have to have two Wither Bones, two Phantom Membranes, a Water Rune, an Earth Rune, a Great Amount of Water, and a Great Amount of Earth. You also have to have 25 Water and 10 Earth Energy. And now I'm going to right click here. Now it's working. Now this is going to take a while to break everything down. So, I thought, initially, I had a lot of issues crafting this. Because there are necrotic bones from Tinker's Constructs, but they are completely different in regards to crafting this. Oh, this actually looks really cool. Clear up a little bit of space so I can... Oh, and now I have Witherbone Boots. Now I'm going to do that for the other pieces of the, of the set. So, I have it organized in here. So the helmet, in order to craft that, you need a Wither Skeleton Skull, a Greater Mold of Ender, a Greater Mold of Water, a Rune of Water, a Greater Mystic Focus, and two more Wither Bones. Every single piece of the armor requires two Wither Bones, meaning that you'll need a lot more, a lot of Phantom Membranes, that is, in order to craft these recipes. I'm going to move all these down. So there's that, 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 and that, and I probably should keep the book out. In order to craft the helmet, you have to have 25 water energy and 10 ender energy. Now, in order to craft that chest plate, you have to have 40 water energy, so you have to have at least 40 water energy in total in order to craft this. So we're just gonna craft this up. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I've got a screenshot. Wait, what? Whoa! That's a big slime. I'm just gonna clear these guys out. Okay. That was really shocking, Kylie. Kind of. So now I have the helmet. Oh, what? Oh. This is not a flattering armor piece. Uh, okay. So in order to craft the chest plate, you have to have all of these things require another right piece of armor. You need two great amounts of water, two nether stars, which was a pain, two phantom membranes, and two more wither bones. Ah. No, why am I lagging? Thank you. Oh yeah, and for this I mentioned you have to have 40 wellspring energy. And while that's crafting up, I can show... Actually, no, I'll probably want to show this on camera. Oh dang, I've been having the sound off. This probably sounds really cool. Oh, that dramatic sounds. Okay, then. There's the chest plate. Oh, the chest plate actually looks pretty cool. I'm going to take off these boots. Hmm. Okay, then. Now the final piece of the armor. You need two wither bones, one rid of air, two bone ash, two bones, one greater amount of air, and one piece of netherite leggings. <laughs> I've actually never done this with the auto. I need 25 water and 10 air. See you guys later when I finish enchanting this up. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have fully enchanted my wither bone armor, and I have protection four on all of them. And I also do have two special. Okay, maybe I should get away from the spiders a little bit. I do have two enchantments on this armor set: Artificer's Aura and Transitory Step, both of which can be crafted using the Man Artifice <coughs> enchantment section. So, Artificer's Aura will repair the armor using mana. And it costs these materials listed here, Moat Fire, Aura, Dragon's Breath, Ventium Dust, Anvil, and Runesmith's Hammer. And it can only be put onto the chest plate. And the other one is Transitory Step. If I can find it. Here we go. It makes it so when I walk... A bridge is made under me, but it costs some mana. And it's not helpful when I want to go down. So I have to, like, fling. So, my thoughts regarding this are mixed. I think this will be really useful in, like, another. Okay. But, uh, you know, occasional left behind bits are somewhat annoying. <clears throat> Like this one. So it is slightly buggy spell. However, I have been able to test out a little bit the set bonus of gaining souls by causing damage. So I'm going to punch him, not kill them. And as you can see, I'm getting like 30 to 40 mana per punch. Just to uh, drain the mana from these. It does drain a little bit of mana because the bone ring increased the amount of mana I'd get, so I've got to... Okay, so now it's exactly 15 mana per time. 
So this is impacted by the Ring of Brittle Bone. If I were to use, say, this spell here. I get filled up mana. Wait a minute, is that a thunderstorm? Oh wait, never mind, that was just the spell, I think. Huh. I have not heard that effect before. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> so, this is very interesting. So, now that I've got, like, a bunch of gear, what is there left to do? Let's see, I should check quickly through here. Actually, I should check the, uh, Oculus. If I want to see the things that are new for Tier 5. Okay, then. Let's get off. Okay. So, Oculus. What's... What types of things are available for me? So, I've got Rituals. Odin's Call. Odin's Call. This ritual challenge is a deity of magic. Odin himself. Be on your guard. This fight is extremely deadly. The ritual must be performed in a place that can see the sky while a thunderstorm is happening. Hmm. If only I'd prepared the materials for this spell earlier. Hmm. Now, let's take a quick hop up to here. And... We have... A certain ritual... Mostly set up. Now, I, I am missing at the moment a air moat, which I believe I have in here, yeah. Greater moat of air. And the only thing I have left to perform this ritual is I have to find a bone. And then I have to grab my wither bone, so I put one of them into a chest earlier. But then I will be able to perform this ritual because there there is another ritual that allows me to kind of summon a thunderstorm, which I'm going to be casting next episode. So I'm thinking that next episode could be the finale because I've got other things that are starting to go on that are making it so I'm having to divide my attention quite a bit. So I was thinking I could cover the remaining Man on Artifice stuff in the form of a, uh, a demonstration. So I could show like, okay, here are all the different factions' abilities and whatnot. Because I feel like there are too many spell components to cover reasonably. But I can definitely cover the faction-specific artifacts and abilities, especially the armor sets. Because those are pretty important. Oh yeah, they're also... Let's see. I should probably try to die. And now, I have misformed instead of dying. I can't eat stuff, but it allows me to like run away or whatever. And then I switch back. Now I can heal up. And now if I take another damage, I'll switch back to misform. <sighs> yeah. It's, it's a pretty comprehensive and complicated ability that totally needed me to explain it in order for it to work. Sarma, for some reason, irks me. It kind of looks a little wonky. But either way, if you guys have been appreciating the series, feel free to leave a like and a, a comment, preferably, so that I could know what you think of it. At the moment, I'm doing pretty well in regards to view counts, but not necessarily in regards to view duration. So, how can I engage you guys more so as my audience? So, I'm going to be ending this episode here, and tomorrow, well not tomorrow, next episode, I am going to be fighting against Odin after performing the Ritual of Monsoon to summon a thunderstorm, and then the Ritual of Odin's Call to fight him. I'm going to be relying on my Sith Shot spell, which is like maxed out lightning damage uh, for the tier, because tier 5 kind of makes the complexity limit slightly higher. So, hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you guys next time for the finale. So I'm aware that I covered this a little bit in the little, like, text box thingies, but why is this armor so expensive? Just why? So, in the, I've checked out the other armor sets, and they're not necessarily cheap, 
with shoes. They're not as expensive as full netherite armor, as well as like 10 phantom membranes almost. In total, I think there's 10 phantom membranes. I just find it to be an interesting choice. Yeah, I, it just confuses me. Although I am aware this faction is meant to be harder to play as. And therefore, it's like, oh, you have to put more effort into it. But I think the that having to find phantoms in order to do stuff is kind of lame. However, next episode, I'm going to be going over the Odin boss fight in pretty blurry fashion. It's kind of hard to go over while there's a status effect making it so you can't see very far. So, that's going to happen. And... I'm going to be defeating Odin, obtaining his drop, and then hopefully go over everything that has been that has gone on in the episodes. And then I'll have a few weeks to post videos about the different faction abilities, their spells, and hopefully bring this to somewhat of a conclusion. Thank you guys for watching, and I will be joining you guys next week for the finale.